In this video, I am going to show you how to create this typewriter text effect in Premiere Pro. So let's get started. All right, as you can see, I already have a background in the timeline. The first step is to select the type tool from the toolbar. Click anywhere within the program monitor to create a text box. Once you have entered your desired text, we can switch back to the selection tool by clicking on this icon. Next, navigate to the Essential Graphics panel, where we can fine-tune all aspects of our text settings. If the Essential Graphics panel is not visible, you can easily enable it by going to the Window menu and selecting it from the drop-down options. Now let's focus on customizing the visual appearance of our text. We can change the font style by selecting from a variety of options and adjusting the font size to ensure it's appropriately visible. To enhance the overall positioning, we should click on the center alignment icon, which will align the text both horizontally and vertically within the frame. With the alignment complete, our text is nearly ready for use. The final touch involves changing the text color to better fit the design aesthetic. Once we are satisfied with the appearance, we will need to adjust the duration of the text layer on the timeline to ensure it displays for the desired length in our project. In the next step, I will apply a crop effect to create a captivating typewriter animation. To begin, we need to navigate to the Effect Controls panel, where we can customize the crop effect to suit our needs. Specifically, I will focus on the right parameter of the crop effect, which will allow us to gradually reveal the remaining letters of our text frame by frame. This right parameter determines the amount of content that is cropped from the right. So by incrementally increasing this value, we can create a dynamic visual effect that unveils more of our text with each passing moment. Let's create a keyframe for the right parameter by clicking on this stopwatch icon. Next, right-click on the first keyframe you just created and select the hold option from the context menu. This ensures that the animation holds the current state at this keyframe until further instructions are given. Now let's focus on the text we want to animate. Using the preview handles, carefully crop all the letters of our text. For instance, setting the right parameter to a value of 81.5 will crop 81.5% of the text width from the right edge, effectively hiding that portion from view. Once you have made this adjustment, move the time indicator three frames forward. Here, create another keyframe with the same value of 81.5%. This maintains the cropped effect for a brief moment before revealing more of the text. Again, we need to move the time indicator three frames forward. Then, we have to reveal the first letter by using the preview handles. Next, we have to move the time indicator three frames forward. After that, create another keyframe with the same value of 75.2%. As you can observe, the values for both the third keyframe and the fourth keyframe are the same. Again, we need to move the time indicator three frames forward. Then, we have to reveal the second letter by using the preview handles. Again, we need to move the time indicator three frames forward. After that, create another keyframe with the same value of 69.1%. Follow this same sequence to reveal each subsequent letter, ensuring you leave a consistent three-frame gap between each reveal. If you desire a quicker, more dynamic animation, consider reducing the gap between keyframes to just two frames. This will speed up the overall effect while maintaining the individual letter reveals that make your text animation so engaging. All right, with these couple of steps, we have created this typewriter animation. In the following step, I am going to apply a rough and edges effect to the text layer adding texture and depth to our design. To start, we need to access the Effect Controls panel, which allows us to modify various parameters of the Rough and Edges effect. First, let's adjust the border parameter to a value of approximately 10, creating a defined yet organic border around the text. Next, we will set the Edge Sharpness property to around 10 as well, ensuring that the edges have a crispness that contrasts beautifully with the roughened surface. Finally, we will increase the Scale property to about 18, which will enhance the overall ruggedness of the text. Once these adjustments are made, you will notice how these changes dramatically impact the appearance of the text in the program monitor, giving it a unique and artistic flair. In the next step, I am going to apply an alpha glow effect to the text layer to create a vibrant and radiant appearance. To customize this effect, we will navigate to the Effect Controls panel, where we can adjust various parameters. Firstly, we need to select the color for the alpha glow effect. I have decided to use the same color for both the start and end of the glow, ensuring a smooth transition. Once that's set, you can observe the adjustments reflected in real time on the program monitor, enhancing the visual appeal of the text layer. Lastly, we need to incorporate the typing sound effects to enhance the visual effects. These audio elements will help create a more dynamic and attention-grabbing experience for the audience. In this way, you can create a really simple and nice typewriter effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.